Photographing and filming China's most remote and wild landscapes is no easy task. At times, it can even be pretty scary. I thought it might be cool to share this process with you, so this is how I do it. Hi, I'm Kyle Oberman, nature contributor for the China Current, showing China's wild side. For the past seven years, I've been exploring China's wilderness solo with expedition partners and in the company of China's local forest rangers and wildlife protectors. Along my journeys, many have asked me how I get to these places, plan my adventure, and document locations never shared before. Preparing for a route or visiting a remote location takes lots of work before you even leave your house. In China, detailed maps of remote regions are often scarce, and many of the places I visit have no previous record of people visiting, necessitating me to plan many of my routes from scratch. I use satellite maps online to scout landscapes, potential routes, and shooting angles in advance. This allows me to plan entire trips without ever having visited an area, but all with a grain of salt, because often the satellite makes terrain seem flatter than it really is. Investing in the proper gear to keep you comfortable and safe in any weather is critical, especially in high altitude regions where in any season, you can experience literally any type of weather. But you can't just rely on buying the newest gear. You need to be familiar with and know your gear's limits and functions well before you test it in the wild. There's no substitute for experience. Maps get wet, batteries die, and unexpected circumstances are status quo in the wild. Being aware of simple things like how thunderstorms are most likely to appear during the afternoon when you're in the mountains, or knowing how to navigate situations like injury, faulty gear, or wildlife encounters are a must when traveling solo or in small groups. Much of outdoor photography simply requires being at the right place at the right moment. Getting to that lake right when the fog swirls or reaching the summit right as the sun rises. Doing this requires all the preparation, gear, and skills we just mentioned, but it also requires waking at 2 a.m. to reach the peak before dawn. Waiting hours or days for the right weather and coming back to try and try again until you get it right. There's no shortcuts here unless you sleep right where you want to shoot. After all that preparation, you'll still get rained on, drenched in mist, and pelted with snow. And then it's time to click the shutter. This is where things like composition, knowledge of a camera's function and buttons, personal vision, and storytelling come to play. A good rule I like to tell people is, be familiar enough with your camera and lens so that you can use them blindfolded. Now, with a little weather luck, you can get the shot you wanted. After all of it, you may also realize that it was actually the process of getting the shot which was the real story and adventure, not the photo itself. Rain or shine, success or failure, there's always a story to be told out in nature. So go enjoy it. Hi, I'm James Chow. You're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.